bomb. Judge sets dangerous precedent by allowing PGA Tour to demand documents and depositions. From Saudi supporters of LIV Golf in antitrust lawsuit Hello Friends, welcome to another video on our channel, Golf Tours News, and today we are going to talk about the dispute between PGA Tour and League supported by Saudi Arabia, but first, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest news from World Golf. Let's go to the news that reverberated in the world of golf. Recently, a federal judge in the United States ruled that the PGA Tour, the American professional golf circuit, can demand documents and testimony from the Public Investment Fund, PIF, of Saudi Arabia and its governor, Yasser al Ramayan in the antitrust lawsuit filed by the International Golf League, LIV Golf, against the PGA Tour. LIV Golf has the support of Saudi Arabia and intends to create a rival league to the PGA Tour, offering millionaire prizes to golfers. Lawyers for the PIF and Al Ramayan tried to overturn the subpoenas by claiming sovereign immunity. But Judge Susan Van Kulen ruled that the PIV's involvement falls under the commercial activity exception to the Sovereign Foreign Immunity Act. With this decision, the PGA Tour may request documents and any communication related to matters such as recruiting and negotiating with LIV golf players, its business plans and its involvement in the new league. If the decision is upheld, it could close the curtain on PIF's business. The decision, seen as a victory for the PGA Tour, comes a week before LIV Golf kicks off its second season. LIV Golf has accused the PGA Tour of using monopoly powers to crush competition, while the Saudi-backed league has 48 players competing individually for $20 million in prize money. The PGA Tour has responded to the LIV threat by creating, elevated, events offering $20 million in prize money, like the Genesis Invitational this week in Los Angeles. The best players, led by Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, are involved in building a new model for the PGA Tour with the goal of bringing together the best players more often. However, the PGA Tour has suspended players for violating its membership regulations, which include requiring authorization to play in overseas events. The tour does not allow players to participate in other tournaments in North America. However, the league has undergone significant changes to its structure since its inception and is now facing legal roadblocks as it tries to gain a foothold in the golf market. The United States federal judge's decision to allow the PGA Tour to demand documents and testimony from the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund and its governor, Yasser al Ramayan, in the antitrust lawsuit filed by LIV Golf against the PGA Tour is seen as a victory for the American professional golf tour. If the ruling is upheld, it could pull the curtain on PIF's business and allow the PGA Tour access to documents and all communications relating to LIV Golf's business plans and its involvements in the new league. Meanwhile, LIV Golf continues to challenge the PGA Tour, offering multi-million dollar prizes to golfers and attracting some of the biggest names in the sport. The battle between the two leagues is far from over but the outcome of this dispute could have a significant impact on the professional golf market. Don't forget to like and comment on this controversial court battle. Until the next video.